What's happening, folks? We're back with another episode of the L and C podcast. I'm not going to be able to continue talking like that for the entire episode. Have no fear. That's just a little put on I do at the beginning. Isn't that right? Our frozen uh, co-host here, Lorenzo Taylor, is doing his thing, playing Frozone. <laughs> All right. We're back. I don't know what episode this is. I already forgot. What is this? One twenty-six? Is that right? I thought it was one twenty-seven. You might be right. I I'm gonna double check real quick. I think I'm right, but I'm not. I'm not certain. You know. I feel like you're right. I just, I just. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm right in the way that the Democratic Party thought it was gonna be right on election night. It is one twenty-six. Oh, so we did win. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, holy shit. If only. Look, I just believe you're a guy that's always right. Thank I genuinely you. believe that. I wish I did. I wish I had as much confidence as the Democrats had because, man, oh, man, that sucked. That was awful. They just, they shit the bed. What can I say? Mm, right? Like uh, Amber Heard. Like Amber Heard. Amber Heard. She, she shit, shit in the bed. bed and smeared it all over Johnny Depp's face and mouth. Did did she do that? There. No, I don't think so. I was about to say, holy shit, bro! Oh my god! One, uh, was it like a Godfather situation with like the horse head? Was it like a present she left him? Uh, yeah, I'm Is pretty that what it sure. Was? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's she so didn't crazy, go like full bro. on ape. Son, you can't smear face, smear shit on somebody's face and like be alive after and, that. Yeah, you know? and live to tell the tale. Yeah, yeah that's like. It's an act of no war. No one's keeping their cool, bro. No one's keeping their not cool. Not at all. Because you got no. You have like pink eye for life, number one, and then you, your face is going to smell like that for weeks. So you're constantly smelling this other person's shit everywhere you go. You, you're like, what you is that? that? You can't yeah. unlive that. It's like it's you're like nature's hide. yeah. It's like nature's theft spray. You know, like the ink that they put in the in the security tags. It just lingers on you. It stays on you for weeks and weeks, days after. Yeah. Yeah. Screwed. What Big lovely screwed top of show talk uh, to bring us in here, folks. I uh, hope you're doing well. Hope you've subscribed and liked and all of that bidness, all that bidness. Uh, please, if please, you please. Why haven't, you? why haven't you? What's your I excuse? I don't mind. Asking in like, we're not asking in like a. And like, uh, why haven't you? We're asking them like, we know better. Mm -hmm. Don't do that to yourself. You don't want. You don't want. You don't want what's coming. You know. Oh boy, yeah. we're gonna go They're back like to. We're gonna go back Fresh to original habit. format here, and we're gonna try to look at what's going on in the world this episode instead of us just talking like we've been doing for the last a few episodes. I feel like we've just been ranting and raving not that that's a bad thing uh, because that's what podcasting is to most people but we're going to take a load off and let youtube and and the news do the heavy lifting this episode uh, but before we get to that uh please like subscribe all that you don't have an excuse and um what do you have coming up lorenzo just dream big venues is that really all all I need to know. I'll be I'll be chilling honestly, but chilling. and I'm very heavy on the marketing of Dream Big venues, there which is go. why I'll be chilling. You know, because right. uh, it's all you need to know. You know, you got it right look here. at that new website. Boom, roast of RGJ. Bada bing, bam. Yeah. Every Tuesday and open. I'm oh, sorry, every Monday and open mic. And then Tuesdays are what a music open mic. Is that, do I have that right? So, I gotta inquire about that because like. It's not on the site no more, so I don't know okay. if they like canceled those. Honestly, it's not like people were really showing up like that, so they might just cancel. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. every Monday, comedy open mic, come out, show up, and then they've got uh, shows each month at the same location. So go check those out. Uh, as far as I go, I don't have a lot either, so I want to get out of the way now before I forget later. Uh, I've got, of course. My open mic every Wednesday at Aurora Market in D.C. Come come through, come see that. 
uh, the I comedy gym. The, I heard some of the dream biggers were out there. The dream biggers, hard R. That's that's wild. Uh -huh. I must have missed them. Uh, come see that every single Wednesday uh, from seven to nine, and then we have, uh, of course, all Cheers comedy events. I'm associated with, so come see us. You can go to cheerscomedydc.com. We need to update this because this event just passed. It was sold out. Our show with Jason King was sold. The F out. Yes. Cue applause. Sold. Thank you. The F out. You know, you can hit applause too. It doesn't have to just be me. I, yeah. I don't know. How to Take do some that. initiative. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay. I think it's at the bottom left of Discord there. It's next to the emoji symbol. There you uh, go. You did it. Um, but that's that. Uh, uh, cheers, wise. Go to our website. Open mics. We have uh, Keeper Sweep. We need to change that to the Comedy Gym. But we have uh, Hot Mic on Mondays and Sunday Scaries on Sundays. And the two of those alternate. Both at Fat Pete's Barbecue. And then the only show I have really on the horizon isn't until next month, but I actually I have sort of an unorthodox thing coming up. I'm going to be doing drag. I'm going to be dressing up as my uh, beautiful uh, woman self. I'm going to try to get my tits as big and uh, voluptuous as possible for that. They're a little perky right now, but I'm I'm uh, trying. You're working on changing that, right. aren't you? I'm just hanging out around newborn babies to see if it just kicks in and I start oh my God. Oh, lactating or something. Start lactating. Uh, I need a video, honestly, because yeah. I... Of me nursing. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It'd well, be, you'll see yeah. me. Well, you'll see I, me all done up. It's a Muppets-themed uh, drag event, and I'm going to be uh, playing trumpet and, again, dressed as a lady Muppet person. So come see that. And that's at As You Are, which is a bar in D.C. I think a gay bar. And it'll be fun. Come see Meet the More Pits, Friday, November 22nd. So that's in uh, just over a week. Ten days. Yeah, 10 days. Wow. Yeah, a week and a half. I need to get my outfit together. I'm, I'm not ready. He's slacking. Yeah. I'm surprised. I don't know. You always got outfits. I don't have outfits like that. I don't, I don't just have a bunch of women's clothing lying around. Oh, yeah, true. I don't know, ask uh, auntie. Yeah. Her. Well, so I sent a text to the to the family group chat. I said, I'm going to need you ladies to, you know, get me done up. I said, I want to be as busty as possible. Oh, my God. So. You got to get, see, they sell uh, shit like that. Uh, Big Daddy Basil will sell it to you on the low. Yeah, yeah. So they sent me some Amazon stuff to, yeah. to look at. But, mm. all right, let's get in. So I have this queued up here. Um. This is an older story, but it just appeared in my feed, and I was reminded of it. And it just, um, well, I thought this was uplifting, so let's go ahead and just take a look here. I knew it was two, two pretty good blows to the back of the head that it didn't release, that um, I was probably going to have to do something a little more drastic. So this guy here speaking, he was attacked by a mountain lion, and he killed it with his bare hands. Did you know that that's what the video was going to be about? Judging by like I, the music uh, or like the overall oh, definitely aesthetic, not. like with, <laughs> with the music, I thought we were going to watch like like a Christian uplifting, fucking, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a gym class safety video or something. Oh right, shit. yeah, like okay, yeah. When it comes to uh, playing tennis, make sure you use your racket. Oh, this does oh, feel oh, like a work oh, module, oh, like a like an HR yeah, training or something. Right. Yeah. Some annoying bullshit that you fall asleep to, you know. I you was up, like, I, I think we we've all heard the story of this exact guy on the on the trail getting attacked and killing this mountain lion. Okay. But when I saw this video last night, or whenever I, I um, came across it, I was I was shocked by like the. The aesthetic choices of the the editing and the music and everything <laughs> like i'm still i'm still not sold that this was like a traumatic event for this person hey look i mean yeah okay, it was uh, running on a trail near, near fort collins in colorado about a quarter mile into mm. that run i ended up hearing uh, some pine needles rustle like a stick break and I turned around and uh, 
just was pretty bummed out to see a mountain lion chasing after me. <laughs> pretty bummed. I want some ice cream. I'm just, I'm um, chilling. I'm having a good time. My, my some sprinkles on it. My, my hands to kind of block my face. B. At which point it grabbed onto my hand and wrist, and uh, can still hear the there, xylophone in the background. That's good. Claw at my face and neck. And oh, clawing at his face. Kind of my fear response. Turned into more of a fight right, response. Adrenaline. There, there was right. a point where I, I was concerned that I wasn't going to make it out of it. And, and oh, really? I think it might have been a mix of me tussling with the cat and it's still clawing at me. And then thinking about another cat potentially coming along. It got a claw in my lip. Oh, no, yeah. your lip. Uh, I tried to throw it off me at that point, And then you took a little if time I find, down. If I find out that, like, I told my story, I was vulnerable for what, like, 15 20 minutes at a press conference <laughs> and, and this and this fucking <laughs> and this work orientation <laughs> fucking music bro yeah Holy <laughs> shit. oh my god like, this is like some wendy's <laughs> yeah training music hi, hi i'm phil welcome to uh uh driving safe with phil now, when you pull off, you want to make sure the number one step is your seatbelt. Like, mm -hmm. like they, like they totally seat. misunderstood the assignment as far as the tone goes for this video. Like, I there's all, all right. kinds of stock music they could have chosen from, right? And there's all sorts of, like, dramatic movie stock music that they could have used that would have been a little corny, but at least it would have gotten the message across that, like, this was a near-death encounter for this person like a harrowing experience that they survived and fought off a mountain lion like are you kidding me but no if i if i saw this after the fact i would like i would like turn into batman i would start training and then I'd uh, hunt down like, each and every person that like this video went through to get to where it was real talk though honestly they should do more things like this like this just lightens the mood. Like any bad news, I want delivered to this music, no matter yeah. what it is. You know, south side of the trail, like, and down there just kind of had a, a little wrestling match. At which point, I was able to get on top of wrestling. it, uh, pin its back legs. If so, anything, no music. If anything, just let's hear the typing. Let's hear it all. Like this is a real story. Like it, it's. I know. I heard that shit. I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's like it's compelling enough just to stand on its own we don't need anything like this does not have to be youtube yossified none of it we just all we need is the story the story is 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 what we're here for right we're not here for the it jolly xylophone music it, um any soft tissue scratched out in my nether regions okay like if it took my penis on. off i'm definitely throwing hands when the when the video comes out and this is oh so they got the friendly ass <laughs> fucking music oh shit oh my god y'all be like y'all think i'm a joke huh hey i think i'm a fucking joke yeah oh, i couldn't let it stand yeah, it's a little little distasteful i don't think we need to watch the rest but i was really struck by that that music oh my god that's fantastic i'm gonna watch that later yeah it's holy but, shit i mean it's inspiring at least let's see what our girl's up to let's see right. um she she was in a fight of her own and lost against a rather orange uh, uh out of shape predator did I, did I send you the one meme and it's like uh trump versus uh female presidents and he's like LeBron yeah <laughs> there's all kinds of those yeah of like he's the only person to, to stop two women from uh, becoming president yeah let's take a look at this though this is inside edition uh covering uh kamala as she's made her first public appearance on veterans day which is uh yesterday as of this recording here indeed national cemetery today in honor of veterans day it's her first public appearance since conceding the presidential election and over the weekend she decompressed by hanging out with her family on game night oh that's lovely I know she had a family. Kamala Harris took place beside yeah. President Biden oh, no. at Arlington National Cemetery. Well, you think Cemetery. public officials are just <laughs> like they just... that's them, right? No work-life balance, nothing. It's just all work, no play. 
<laughs> I mean, I I, I, I wish it was like that. No, like I th I think things would be much better if they were just if we castrated them like Unix, and or if we made them fight a mountain lion to the death, and if they win, yeah. uh, then they get to go on to be. Bro, I'm gonna be real. Once I lost my dick, I'd probably just like give up. I don't know. You think so? Or maybe it's the but that's not how it works. No, because then you, you devote yourself, you pour yourself into the thing that that you can take control of, that you can take power yeah. over. And if that's your job, if we put you into a, you know, into a field and say go, then that's that's where your drive goes. You know, you don't just lose. It's, having sex is a distraction, right? Those are big factions. Peeing, standing up distraction uh, uh, nobody needs um, that. everyone wants to do it though yeah like everyone indecent it's exposure it's distracting the perks of so, having a yeah. penis are not befitting one uh who seeks public office that's all i'll say <laughs> they're not imagine how many scandals we'd avoid if we just cut off every politician's dick like bill clinton would have uh had been a four-term president if he just got rid of his dick oh my god we'd have only that's only one that's the only scandal though as yeah. far as like when they're a president you know mm -hmm. she has a family so, yes and let's let's look at what she's been doing today conducting her ceremonial duties honoring our fallen heroes on veterans day she's been keeping a low profile since last week and now we're learning what she's been up to after her crushing defeat finding solace with her family here's the beat playing the game connect four with her great nieces notice the glass of wine on the carpet beside her back to where it all began you think this would have hurt or helped her campaign if we saw her doing things like this I don't even fucking know. Like you don't know. Why do they have pictures of this? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm really wondering. I I don't. I, yeah, I don't think this is even real. I think this is totally contrived. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, the game night is happening at the very bottom right corner of the screen, <laughs> and everything else is just like a of complete empty carpet. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, where is this even? Who's to say this is even happening at someone's house and not just a compound somewhere? You know, like Real who, talk, who's to oh say these God. are even her, her grandchildren? Uh, and she's got her Howard yeah, uh, uh, hoodie on. Yeah, right. Like, you give a they shit. They look her complexion, but they don't look like mm -hmm. they know her. Those are just know, child know. actors. That's why they did their, their mm -hmm. hair their hair the same way and everything, because... <laughs> I was wondering that. Yeah. I was like, are they twins? Is that a coincidence? Was it, was it yeah, they just need to look the same. They need to look enough. They're like, they're like, they all look the same anyway. It just right. it doesn't matter. Exactly. Just throw them in there. Let's get her toothy smile. Let's call it a. Let's call it a night. And only oh a few God. months ago, the girl's mom, Mina, writes, We love her so much. President-elect Trump also enjoyed family time this weekend, playing golf with his eldest grandchild, Kai. The golf phenom posted video practicing with grandpa coaching. She also posted this photo. photo with Elon Musk and his son, treating him like one of the family. Wow. Now, would this have helped or hurt him, do you think? Elon Musk in a fucking cowboy belt? Hey, man, I think he should have ran. If he ran with that belt, I'd have voted for him 100%. Right. But if he, like, if he, were, if he wore the belt, if he didn't wear the belt, then it's like, I can't help you, you know? Mm -hmm. I just, like, who fucking cares? It's like, why do we need to hear about this? I'm like... Get a life. I fucking care. I care. It's like, why are we still no trying cares. to humanize these people? Like, truly, like well, the the way you reacted. Like, she has a family. That I think that's how we should all just think and feel. Like, we should not hold any room in our heads for any of these they're people's everyday, family members. They're everyday people. Like, I never everyday cared about everyday. Sasha and Malia. I never cared about uh, Chelsea Clinton. I never cared about any of these fucking people. I don't care about Baron. I don't care about. Uh, anybody who's not in the administration, really. Like if you put I your... hear Barron's boring. I hear Barron's dope. No, I hear I hear both. I hear a lot of things about him. 
that he's cool. I hear he's cool. I also hear he like he's he, he's he, he's at risk of being uh, tainted. You know, tainted. I hear both. Yeah. What does that mean? He's he's gay. Tainted. I don't know. He he could be. I don't know. But like, I, I like he. I heard be. that Barron was the one that told Trump to go on all the podcasts that he did. Like he told. Donald that Trump to go on sense. Logan Paul's podcast or whatever and to go on Theo Vaughn and all these other ones. And then he got Joe Rogan that. after that. Yeah, I could see that. That makes sense. Oh, Barron's a fucking goddamn strategic genius. He's got his, yeah, he's got his ear to the ground. He's really... Shit, he's doing big things. He got his dad to fucking... Well, let's, he's going to be a campaign you know, manager shit. telling people to right go on Fortnite. And was he like fucking twelve? I don't know. Yeah, look, he's at, like look at me. In yeah. high school, I want to say doing way, he's doing way better than me already. Right. A little shit. <laughs> A little fucking. It shit. certainly it certainly can't be that his dad is uh, the president of the United States or former president or a millionaire, multimillionaire. That couldn't have anything to do with the fact that he's not in the slightest doing well. I don't care about these people. I don't care about their lizard children. Their little ice cold vamp like twilight vampire blooded monster families i do not give a shit just keep insider trading and keep your mouth shut please and thank you big factuals please just keep making money off the backs of hard-working americans and <laughs> tape your lips shut pass the policies like we want passed too. vote uh in, down the party line stop making a spectacle of yourself and let's get going. Let's move on. Right. Please, I beg of you. I saw I beg, I beg. I saw this video and I was outraged. I was like, why should I care that she kind of knows how to play Connect Four uh while drinking what I can only imagine is box wine off of the ground. Why oh, should man. I care? Tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Like if I lost, you wouldn't see shit from me online or in person ever like i'd be ghost for a minute you know right you ain't gonna put me yeah let's check this lady out this was before the election and i think it did oh wait hang on no this is someone different but this is also good i'll find the other lady though the other lady is fantastic uh this was fun though Now he's thinking about me every night, oh, is it as sweet? I guess so. Say I can't sleep, baby, I know that's not me, espresso. Move it up, down, left, try it, oh, switch it up like Nintendo. Say you can't sleep, baby, I know mm -hmm. that's not me, espresso. What? No, no, <laughs> sounds good. No, it does sound no. good. It sounds just like the song. It does. And I've heard the song. I've never I'm not heard, worried about I've it getting claimed it. here because it's just different enough that I think we'll be okay. I'm not it worried. might be buried in the song. Who knows? <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Let's see <laughs> the comments. You can already see a few here off to the side. Ch talent chases you, but you're faster. Ooh. This was honestly so much worse than I expected. You change keys every other line. This is flat white. Sabrina bartender. Wow, that's got to be the worst what? one. Yeah. Stop. Oh no. What compels somebody to put this online of themselves? I wonder. It's Liza no. music. Maybe it, she sings badly on purpose for views. I hope comments. so. Because people are going to shit on her in the comics and then people are going to jump in to add on to funny comics. Yeah. We should do shit like that. Just make like bad. We should, yeah, we should sabotage ourselves <laughs> for views. And then once we have like 10,000 followers, we can just archive everything. So it like never happened. You know? So it's like the people, it jokes on them. They came here and then it looks like they're just following some like comedian losers when they really followed just to shit on our singing yeah. careers yes look you know what i'm saying sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do yeah right daisy i was just i was mes mesmerized that like she thought that would be a good idea i hate how long she, it takes to start 
I wish I could. This might sound skip to this it. might sound mean, but she looks like she'd be on the second season of Love on the Spectrum. That was mean. That was uh, mean, and I wish you'd reconsidered that longer. But I love Love on the Spectrum. Good. Okay, we saved it. <laughs> we salvaged <laughs> that one, folks. No problem. No problem whatsoever. No, she looks fine. She looks like any other normal girl that you would know in school that, you know, like y'all talk to sometimes, right? Like in passing, like that's just Jenny. Yeah. Or in this I'm case, that's honest. just Liza. You know, she's doing her thing. But then you find out she's posting videos like these online <laughs> in her spare time. And all of a sudden she opens up like a flower. Now there's there's more dimensions to Liza. She's not just that, that girl that you pass in the hall that you know tells you how nice your shoes look because she only looks at the ground because she doesn't have any self esteem oh my god uh, well you're why does she not have self esteem huh? I feel uh, like with videos does. like these I have no idea she's practically famous on Instagram mm -hmm. now she's young she, I think she's 19 it's what it says in her bio anyway but I, I would like to just if we can get to advice early here Liza, do yourself a favor. Please get rid of as many of these as you have on your channel or going. elsewhere. Definitely Invited. don't do this. If you do this on TikTok, you're you're asking to be put on suicide watch if you're doing this on TikTok. No, on the live watch. On oh, the excuse live me. Watch. Yeah. In on the live suicide watch. in yeah. Minecraft watch. Okay, Liza. Is it as sweet? I guess so. Say you can't sleep, baby. I know that's not me. Is that white privilege? Big factuals. Okay, moving on. Yeah. Oh my God. He just. <laughs> I, I got said, down to yeah, the bottom. Like, I don't know why like... I didn't just come out with that because that's. I think that's just what it is. Man, anything, anything white people do is white privilege. Everyone knows that. Let me stop. But how, at the same time, it's kind of true. How late were you up last night, yesterday? Bruh, don't be asking me these questions. How late was you up, huh? I mean, I, this isn't a trap. <laughs> I, I didn't intend for it to be. <laughs> I just want to know. Because I was up at an ungodly hour. I'm normally up until like 12, 1 in the morning, uh, especially now that I'm playing Black Ops 6. I'm trying to grind weapon oh skins and everything. Oh, my God, bro. Come on. Do I am. better. Take care of yourself. I mean, for a while it was Floons. Now it's Black Ops. I love Floons. And I was up last night. I was playing uh, Gunfight and... Uh, stake out 24-7 on Black Ops, and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm in Discord, all of a sudden, uh, everything just cuts out around like 1230 in the morning, mm -hmm. and inexplicably, and then I go to my phone uh, to text people that, like, hey, I just, something happened, my Wi-Fi cut out, whatever, but my, everything was still connected to Wi-Fi, like, I could see Wi-Fi on my phone and on mm -hmm. my computer, and then uh, when I went to my phone, nothing was loading, even though the Wi-Fi bars were still there, you know, even though it was showing that I was still connected to my router or whatever, nothing was loading. Mm. YouTube wasn't loading nothing. And then uh, I went and unplugged my router, plugged that back in. That didn't work. And about like 30 minutes later, I finally decided to disconnect from my Wi-Fi and then check Twitter. And sure mm. enough, like, you know, four minutes ago, three minutes ago, everyone's posting like, hey, what's going on? I don't have any yep. Wi-Fi. No connect. There's no nothing from Verizon, but everybody who has Verizon in my area is complaining. And my boyfriend's shit cut off at the same time, and he's in Fairfax. I'm in Stafford, and I, I guess all over the East Coast, mainly D.C., Virginia, Maryland, but all the way up in Pennsylvania, New York, everything. Uh, Verizon FiOS just went down completely for like two hours. I did not know that. I mean, I feel like those are kind of ideal hours because most people are asleep. I, don't I know if it was disagree perfect. wholeheartedly. I really do. And you should have fucking been asleep. I'm picking a bone with with Verizon that they think that that my time at uh, twelve thirty one a.m. is invaluable enough to um to take action during. When this is a service that I'm paying for, uh, for my you entire family, the fucking bed. And I thought about Shit. that. Tr trust me, that did cross my mind. Of like, okay, what if this happened every night at this time? 
would that be a net positive? Yes, but that's not what the, that's not the case. No, this is something I'm paying for twenty four seven True. service. True. What other service just goes out for two three hours at random, and I don't care what time it is, how ideal it may or may not be. That's insane. TV used to. TV used to. Yeah, they used to. They like ten p.m. or some shit. It'd be like. Most of the channels would be like, "Hey, it's ten We're in the tech age that. now. That's a, that's a, a boomer excuse. That's invalid. Boomer. Like, look at this: millions of people on the East Coast experienced fios internet outages in the early hours of Tuesday morning. The affected area of five hundred mm -hmm. miles from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Richmond. Oh my, like." across all these states too like i i'm hoping this sparks like mass uproar i want there to be like protests like i i almost want to boycott verizon if they weren't like the only carrier in my area without having to lay it's a monopoly bro it's yes. a monopoly it's all and like they get away with it i forget how or why but like they're they're able to do it xfinity and uh, Verizon, they're able to do it. They just divvy this shit on up. And the thing is, do it, the communities could create their own shit. Like back in like 2018, when they're gonna like charge motherfuckers to use like the internet and YouTube and shit, and like nobody was down with it, of course. But like communities can make their own fucking internet, bro. Communities can make anything. We don't have to let these huge corporations. Fucking run all over us. The thing is, it takes money. It takes funding. Hey Amen. And these <laughs> these corporations don't give a shit because, like, they still haven't responded. There's still nothing from Verizon. Not going to. They don't have to talk to you. Addressing fucking this, brokies. you fucking broke boys. They don't have to talk to y'all. They don't have to talk to y'all. Who are y'all? Anyways, if you're if you were affected by this, when I was, when most people were, who are awake, who are <laughs> trying to grind for camos. I think most people were asleep. I beg to differ. I think everyone <laughs> in my friend group, except for you, apparently, was, was I wide didn't awake. Get an Nobody told me. I get Black up. Ops. Do you have Game Pass? No, I, I don't play games. Nobody yeah, invites you, you to yeah, play exactly, games. Exactly, because you don't have someone. Money. If someone invited me to play games. I get Game Pass. Maybe get I don't money. I'm getting it. I got, I I got money, but like, kind of get an Xbox. You know, I got an Xbox. I got an Xbox. Bruh, do they not play DVDs? I thought they play DVDs, but they don't. Do they? They play, uh, what type of Xbox do you have? Uh, Xbox One. And I have a 360. I have both. Is it my, my old Xbox One, the big giant? I had to. VCR I had one? to replace it with the same type. I forget what happened to that one, but it just stopped working. So I had right. to get another one, but it's the same kind. That one, I don't think plays well no I, I think it plays blu-ray discs it's regular dvds uh you think the 360 plays dvds i got dvds and i can't play them the three my playstation 2 i think the won't. place yeah the playstation is the only one that has a dvd player i think maybe, maybe damn bro but my shit my shit like you got my shit, I wonder you're talking well. about TV work. used to cut because like you're still on DVDs. You probably have VHS yeah. tapes still. What do you have like a nah, floppy discs? No more. Stop. Real talk. I got floppy discs somewhere in the house though. I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. And no drive. I'd have to yeah. buy an external drive to hook up to the laptop. It'd have to be a whole. No, thing. for the listener, floppy discs is not a Flappy Bird knockoff. Oh my god, it's a type of. It's a type of storage, uh, device. storage device, yes. Yeah. Uh, video yeah. medium. Well, yeah. anyway, I just wanted to uh, rant about that because it was unacceptable. And there were all kinds of people. Like, if you go on Twitter uh, right now and just look up Verizon outage in Virginia or D.C., you'll see all the people who were messaging um, Verizon and tweeting about what was going on, all sorts of fun memes and people saying like this is largely affecting my ability to sleep you know having the tv yeah. on and staying awake because i need yeah. i need that to fall asleep or i need that you know to go on and function in today's didn't society they do that last year but during the day for like the whole day that was a yeah that was at&t um, and that was cellular 
Oh. Like a yeah, a few months back. Because I, I remember that because I was driving to a different building for work and I needed GPS yeah. and it cut out on me because of the cellular outage and I was just like stranded because I don't know how to get anywhere. Like yeah, what really am I going to look at a map? I'm going to take up my atlas, <laughs> navigate. <laughs> and no. bro, fucking uh, just take out the whole little shit you get from the fucking welcome centers and just be like right exactly with that motherfucking, I'm turning it with out, me print out, yeah. print out more fucking uh, break out my compass dude. now is map is map quest still a website can I, you go to map quest still? i'd be scared that i'll get a virus i feel like those old ah, ips hey, are... yo. i used it back in 2017 i ain't gonna lie but like that's stuff like seven years ago like yeah almost eight what was know? that what was that? Uh, Garmin. Garmin was a big thing. You would get a Garmin device, which was a little screen, and you would you would fix it to your your air vents or whatever, and it had a, a GPS device. Oh, so that was like GPS before GPS was installed into every phone, basically. You don't remember that? Exactly. My dad had a big Garmin screen on his uh, Volvo for a while. Oh, my God. Yeah. I remember, like, well, they have... GPS devices still, but they're not as popular, obviously. But like, yeah, I remember they had they got them they got them joints, they got them joints in the little, little days, the little days. These are like, the these are super old. It wasn't quite yeah, that like probably this. ain't even needed. He's he, probably a fucking he had a one, goddamn. Uh, he had one that looked like this. This was more like oh, his. Yeah. It was like a little screen oh, on, the, on the dashboard. Yeah. Ooh. Your dad was probably a land nav fucking champ. Oh, we know. Yeah, that's what it was. It was right there in like the CD port. Mm. Broski, my CD player in my car don't work, and I'm devastated. Oh, or no. no, the CD player works. The cassette player doesn't work. Oh, the CD player man. works. What do you need a cassette player for? What cassettes are you listening to? Don't worry about it. I like. I like. I used to use my cassette player all the time, what? but. I asked the dude oh my God. about Fitz the only Nick. cassettes like, well, you should have are like, like uh, baby songs that your mom would play like when you were growing Shark? up. Yeah, like, uh, not Baby yeah. Shark, but you know, like ABCs and like Blues Clues music and the shit Jackson like that. Five? Yeah, like Thomas Eight. the Tank Engine. Those are the only cassette tapes I can remember even like encountering. Cause like by the time I, I by the time I was old enough to pick the music I wanted to listen to, we're in like CD territory, right? Or we're, or, we, or we're at the iPod Nano territory, MP3s. We were like, we, I feel like we came up like right as shit, like right when we still had the old shit, but then the new shit was also popping off, and it like it took a minute, but it also seemed like it was fast at the same time. You probably had a Walkman, didn't you? Yo, real talk, I did, but yeah. I had this girlfriend in high school, and the bitch fucking broke it somehow, and I'm like, it's the last time I loaned somebody's what time daughter. Was it, was, it a, was it a cassette one or a CD? So I, it was a, uh, so I had a portable CD player, but I also had like a digital uh, Walkman as well. Oh, wow. Fancy. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you Down, go. Yeah, the cassette, the cassette shit. I had this radio. The radio was um kind of portable too, for real. It had cassette and CD and radio, and uh, but I ain't really take it out the house. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that shit, that used to be my shit, boy. Uh, you used to have mad cassettes in the house. Damn, bro. Remember Take when like back. headphones used to be skinny? Like when they were so flimsy and just like yeah. like you could, if you barely bent the little strap thing, it would snap in half like a pencil. Fuck, fuck bro. Bitches are uncomfortable and fucking unreliable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damn. We and, progressed a yeah, lot. And the little ear pieces, they wouldn't be like covers. Like these, yeah, these yeah. cover my ear. They would be yeah. just they would just be against your ear, and they'd be like all yep. foam. Yep, yep. Ah, oh, shit, bro. Terrible, fucking terrible. Yeah, where it sounds like you're listening to something like from miles away, and everyone else can hear it around you too. Like, yes, bro. Yeah. Yes, you might as well not even have the earphones. Right. So can I just listen to this out loud? 
<laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you look cooler with the radio up to your head anyway you know right right i think i had a, a good one too i had like a sennheiser i, I want to say a little yeah. portable cd player and it's still like the good tech was shitty as hell Crap. it's not good love love my portable cd player had the earphone jack mm -hmm. i remember the head that the headphones them bitches, some of them was like two different sizes for their ears and shit. Like, make it make sense. Make My ears are the same size. You sense. got one joint bigger than the other. I don't know. Uh, I had the mountain lion video categorized, uh, categorized under white people shit, but I think that was, that was just happenstance. Like, anybody could have been out there. Nah, like, you could have been doing shit. your sun basking okay. thing in nature and then had an encounter like let me, that. now let me tell you something even if, even if i'm in nature because i i like to go hiking and shit but even if i'm in nature i'm not encountering no fucking mountain lion and like that bitch ain't gonna get the drop on me because i'm already i'm the dropper not the droppy you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying you know i drop right, the shit. alert yeah yeah i see shit a million miles sun you wouldn't so, be sad about having to snap its neck or whatever that guy had to do? You wouldn't be a little... I, I am legend, that motherfucker. I don't care. Don't I'm going to be real. I love all animals, but when it comes to, like, dogs or some crazy shit, I'll fucking... I'll fucking... You know what I'm saying? Wakanda forever. Choke, choke. I'm trying to... I'm doing the... He, and I am legend when he choked the dog. Mm. I was sad because it was his fault. He got the dog killed. Yeah. But, like... If I got to, I got to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got chased by a lot of dogs growing up, so like I don't get no fucks real talk. If it comes to it, it comes to it. You know what I'm saying? If it comes to it, it comes to it. It uh, is what it is. Well, this is also... Uh, this takes us back to an older episode where we covered something similar, where a guy uh, died. So I was hoping I this... Lie. I hope I was hoping this guy died as well, but I don't. I don't think that's the case. Everyone. Stop. Oh my We're god. We're at this deep pit cave today, and we've been here before, but we couldn't make it very far without a second. We've been here before. We've been to this cave before, but we couldn't make it very far. We couldn't do it. So we got out. So we got out. But we came back to go the distance, to get in here get it again. and get the job done. Like, why? Down. Don't you Why not? What is there to find? I am genuinely curious. You don't know. That's the whole thing. You don't, there could be gold down there. You could be a fucking bazillionaire. All you have to do is climb in caves to Holy find a secret shit. cave. Holy shit! Yeah. But this is like at the, all the all the stuff that there is to get has has been found. And then if you do find uh, it, you can't just claim anything. That's not how that works either. It's That's federal land or whatever, right? Is it? I think everything at this point is owned by the government. <laughs> like, there's not as you can't go anywhere in this country or without in any or in any developed nation shit. without somebody owning shit. every single part of it. Shit. When that's the shit, I don't get. How do you just up and be like, "All right, I own this now." You like, have a deed. The people that know, but the people the land has been surveyed. All of it has been uh, apportioned off and sold off to people, so that other places can make money. And and you lay claim to it just by paying the government for it and but getting that how, deed. Who did the first people pay for the shit? Hell no, they just took the shit. Because who would they pay? You know. Well, they have to be protected by the fucking government. And then if you're in breach of that, then the National Guard or whatever comes and resolves the matter. Right? I assume. I really don't know yeah, how do. uh, land ownership works. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to be honest. But I think it's something along those lines. I think you you literally just pay the government to be the, the muscle and say. So basically, yeah, like I'm just saying like. How is that a thing, though? Like, it just doesn't necessarily make sense. I mean, what was it? It was Manifest thing. Destiny. That's how I think that's when it all really kicked off. It's like, hey, yeah. if you get there, it's yours. Let us know what's yeah. yours, find and we'll, we'll help you keep keepers. it. Yeah. Finders keepers, yeah. 
but now everything's like, been found. Man. There's nothing left that has not already been found that's not owned by some, you know, a multi-billionaire fucking <laughs> company or I mean, uh... or the government itself, right? And most of these parks are government property. Isn't mm. isn't it safe to say? And they're just sponsored yeah. by corporate interests. But I mean, most of the most it's it's done. So whatever you find in here, unless it's just like some some wildlife that's already been documented or close to, or if it's just some like random offshoot species that nobody gives a shit about. Like, what do you think you're going to find the cure to cancer in this, in some axolotl thing or something? Like, I, I really don't know what the goal is, the, I, but I do. I do know what the, we, we all know what the goal is. The goal is for them to get hard, for their dicks to grow. That And this is how they do it. They put themselves in these fucking insane oh positions. God. For clout. Is that how they? Is that how they get stuck? The erections yeah, too strong. Yeah, no, seriously, like, my erections <laughs> too huge. Like I, I was able to get in here, but I can't get out. And now the pressure's <laughs> changed so much that the my, the blood won't go back into my body and away from my penis. Now I'm I'm, I'm swelling. Actually, my whole body's erect now as a result. And my I'm, body's losing weight, but my penis is getting bigger because all the blood is transferring. Right, right, right. It's insane. It's like just have somebody <laughs> choke you in your bedroom. Have somebody have, put a blindfold on, go on Craigslist and say, "I will pay you," because you're gonna lose all your money doing this. For you're gonna lose everything that you own, so you might as well just like you know apportion a little bit of your mm -hmm. wealth once a month, a week if you're an community. addict, and mm -hmm. say, "Hey, mm -hmm. I'm looking for somebody of this build. You need to be this strong because I need to be choked this hard X amount." pounds of strength around my neck and my balls and then i need you to just come in let yourself in here's the code i need someone trustworthy and do that on craigslist where you find trustworthy people on task rabbit <laughs> and tell them i'll be in the seat i'll be in the chair i'll tie myself up you do the rest and then you don't have uh, to then you don't have to write a will right because they're not going to stab you and just take everything that won't happen Mother Nature is ruthless. What do you need to get in? I really don't. I, I, I like I truly. There's no other reason for somebody to get it. Look at this thing. Fucking cave goats. You're not listening. They're not going to keep it. As soon as you. They're not going to tell no one. Right. Okay. Well, how much are, are you, you really going to get? Well, clearly they're not. If they're putting it on YouTube, I guess they didn't uh, find yeah. anything here. Well, we'll see. We'll see what they found. They almost found their death. Rope in this cave. Uh, we got a second rope today. We're, gonna... We're getting in there. We got a whole system. It's always the whitest, skinniest motherfuckers too. Well, you have to be thin to slip in here, slip in and out. You're not gonna. They should. We should make a show where like bigger people do shit like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, instead of like my six hundred pound life, it's like my my six hundred pound uh, struggle or something. Yeah, because I have to barely. <laughs> move. <My guy>. Holy <laughs> shit! But to, their cave diving experience is just getting in and out of the house. I think though, at that point, and not having a whole Gilbert Grape situation with the roof. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, you know, getting up and down oh. the stairs and through the hallway. Is their cave experience? <laughs> Look, honestly, depending where they go, well, if they go to a, a, a cave with like water at the bottom or some shit, swimming's fantastic exercise, the best exercise. So it's like you know, which is crazy because like, I guess humans, I guess babies, if you throw them in water, they like naturally learn how to swim. But it's like, please don't have a child. That. Please not if that's how you think it works. <laughs> it's a little more complicated I mean, than that. I don't You gotta don't give know. them How'd a flotation learn? device and shit. You gotta make sure they're set up. Babies float, they're nothing but like cartilage. You gotta make fat. sure they're floating on the right side because they also breathe. No fucking back paddle pedal. Right. They got this. Babies are smart. They got this. Some of them. They got this. These they're, guys, they're, they're, these guys are not though. I maintain that these guys are not smart, and that what they're doing is idiotic. Yeah, it's actually a lot of water dripping in here. Yeah. Whoa, crazy! Oh, yeah. It's like Looks we like can slip from the outside. Or something. 
guy down there. Oh, it's getting off. narrower and oh, narrower. No. Oh, no. It's pretty dark. <laughs> oh, no. That looks yeah, not fun. Yeah, it here. doesn't look fun. There's a frog. Oh, they found a frog. Mm. Did you see it? I see. Oh, shit. How look crazy is that? I'm, look at him. I'm calling oh, Frogger. Oh, no. Frog's committing suicide. <laughs> uh huh. Like, that's all you're going to find. You're not going to find a diamond. You're not going to find... This isn't Minecraft. Again, like, this has all been Trying investigated. There's a, re okay. there's a reason why, like, this is here. And that they found it. It's because someone else already did. It's already been, like, mapped. And, you know, they figured it out already. And natural resources aren't developing at a rate that they would replenish themselves by the time you get here, right? No. Yeah, see the little guy down here. There's a lot of frogs in here. we go. Look uh, at that. Uh, really sharp, too. Restart. <clears throat> Fucking shit, man. Uh, look at that. Well, come on. Look bro, how happy he real. is. Look how, look how thrilled he is at himself that he's he like, I did that. He's never been so satisfied in his life. This dude's a fucking virgin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, you can't <gasps> tell me otherwise, bro. What? Anybody else of like sound mind would be freaking out. And I know yeah, that's what I, they they all they'll all tell you like once you, you we've been training for this or we you know like there's like there's potato uh, chip. Like you cannot freak out under any circumstances. And like that's why we enjoy it so much is because we're ready for it. And it's like no. you are what are you preparing for? And what what instance do you think you're gonna need to get in a cave like that? Who is chasing you that you need to they get? They gotta hide in the bunkers when uh, World War Three starts. It's not gonna help in here. I don't know. You I mean you never know till you find out there could be a secret. This will collapse on you. This, whatever this is, <laughs> that's not stable. That's just like all, all we, if a bomb goes off, it's like it's just going to fall the couple inches that it's raised there and then you're fucked falling. anyway. Oh, that's all that's going to happen. That's like nature's level. That's all that, like, that's just there as a barrier to whatever's happening above ground or whatever. Right? I mean, it's just going to collapse. Man. They get stuck on the ground. Though. Fancy oh feast. Oh my god, fancy feast. Ooh, wonderful. There you go. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Look at this. Mm. There you go, there's the water you were talking about. Oh shit. Oh my god, what? I'd have freaked out once I saw that little water jump. Yeah. I'd have Yeah, something, That's crazy, there's something bro. moving in there. Look at there's that. There's something moving in the water. Yeah. Over here. It's the fish? Oh, it's a giant salamander. Oh, nah. Yeah. This, this is huge, oh, nah. man. What? It's a salamander. They found a salamander. Uh, Do you see any gold? <laughs> or or ju it's is it just mind. a salamander? It's down. The gold's further Oh, ahead. you think they Everyone need to pan that. for it up ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what oh, I don't yeah. see is any room. I don't see any space whatsoever. No, I just see a bro. ceiling and a floor. It looks like they're in they're like an attic. They're definitely fucking soaking wet. Definitely soaking wet. Oh yeah, for sure. Can't be having a good time at all. Look at this guy. Inside. And he just keeps oh my going. God. Holy fuck, bro. Come on. Like his where on? that salamander was, his face is just right up against the water, basically. We're, yeah. we're seeing this from the perspective of the of the GoPro. Which doesn't yeah. paint an accurate picture. The picture is it's like oh, it's do this higher. with your hand, yeah. and then like put it up against your eye. That's what this looks like to them, and that's this is the, the, your eye is your entire body, right? So the top and you're you're completely restricted. Like you 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 can basically just do jumping jacks from where you are in this I wonder space. How much money they have? Like normal everyday people don't do shit like this. Not at all. You know, what I'm not at all. These are people with money, with like a, a good amount of money at that. Oh yeah. And I used to think the same thing about people who went like kayaking and shit. 
But this well, is on another level because this is like yeah. you just you don't get anything out of it. What are you getting out of this? This is nothing that you don't already learn in earth science or like geology or whatever. You get to tell people, look, he's recording it. You get to tell people, look, I almost drowned myself in a puddle underneath a bunch of rocks. In a puddle. How pathetic would that be? Like, please but tell them I went to war. Puddle. Please tell them it's I'm a veteran. Ground. Please, this Veterans Day, please tell them I died for my country and not in a shallow bed of water. Oh my God. <laughs> 30 feet underground. Please tell don't them tell was, them that. Tell them I was uh, trying to infiltrate the enemy underground. Yes, please tell them o Osama bin Laden's uh, cousin was, th th this was a top secret CIA operation uh, I was uh, on and not good. just me looking for a salamander that was a different <laughs> color. What if that's what he went down there for, for the salamander? <laughs> hey, yo. Look at this dumb oh, shit. salamander. I hate these. I hope they all die. <laughs> like, truly, in my I, heart of hearts. I think they're swell fellows. We should get them on the podcast if, they, if they're if they alive. <laughs> Here's somebody yeah, I want to like... talk to. I want to talk to this guy. Have you seen this? This was crazy. This came up in my feed, too. And I was... This is another rich person doing rich people shit. And... Um, Frost spikes, based on my research, occur because of exposure to extreme cold. Uh, I should have warned you. If you're watching this, uh, beware. He's just got frostbite on all the fingers oh. on his what is it? His left hand there. I didn't know what that was. I was like, yeah. kind of this isn't this wearing? isn't movie makeup. This guy's he's a mountain climber. He uh, climbed uh, not Mount Everest, but some the some equivalent of that i think it's called like denali or something and yeah and he's uh something happened where his equipment failed and now his hand is like completely black in this video Holy and fuck. and and what what's striking about this other than the fact that it does look like movie makeup and that it's like it's it has set in it the frostbite like is yeah uh it what's shocking about this really is how sober this guy is in explaining his situation and explaining just how he's going to have all his fingers amputated and why this is a good thing the way uh, for mount, it the happened frostbite mainly manifested mountain itself climbers, but also it happened for example very commonly for homeless people who for some reason they stay in the cold uncovered and it happens for some reason i wonder for... why <laughs> i wonder why a homeless person would be for some reason they just they're like, just out there they just in like the cold the they just like to be chilling out there you know yeah, i like Everyone it i guess knows. Everyone knows homeless people are like, they're just those cold weather people, you know? You know? Some people like the heat. Some people like the cold. It, it, it can't some be Some people like not having a home. <laughs> it's exactly. their cup of tea. True. They're Call called, them crazy. They're pure minimalists, you know? They like, they really, they're like, I just don't want nothing anyway, at all. That's clearly a, a language barrier thing. He's trying to say, for some reason, yeah. meaning like for any number of reasons, somebody could be homeless. Yeah, there's I so understand. many. I just, I, the phrasing was funny. High mm -hmm. This guy's going to lose uh, his hand. High altitude or in cold places without enough coverage, suddenly if there is a storm or something. So for me, I had all the precaution in terms of clothes, so I had the best equipment on me. However, because of the high altitude, and the long day and the lack of oxygen and the cold night, I developed this frostbite as the body tried to protect itself with the lack of oxygen. So the blood get a bit pulled off from the extremities of the body. I was lucky. Like, that I think this is what autism is. Like, I wish we had Spencer in here. Oh, my God. To watch. You pointed out. I have noticed that people with autism can, like, radar other people with autism. Mm -hmm. but like, like i feel like also, i feel like if spencer fell down like broke his uh arm or leg or something and was looking at this protruding bone like once he got over the initial shock and pain and it set in and it became normal like you know five minutes later he could begin to break it down well actually you know it's it's, it's not as bad happened? as you might think and here's what it's happens not, some people not. who are Ooh. prone to falling God only knows especially, why. Especially when they're running down 
stairs that are slippery. Right, that are slippery, and they fall. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, a fracture like this could happen, and it's good that I'm able to record because that means that I haven't lost consciousness. <laughs> I'm able to speak to you in the in the video here. Like I would pass out every time I looked at my if my hand looked like that. I would I would like faint. I would not be able I to look at. I would have it wrapped. Where... Like yeah, there would be yeah, some cognitive yeah. dissonance where I'm just like yeah. I can't think I about can't. it. I can't. Just cut it but off. My robot hand. Yeah. Would be dope though. Right. And that's what this guy he goes on to explain like where it happened at is good. Like for he he says it's good that it happened to his left hand for one because it's his non dominant hand that he's fine with losing the fingers on. But that in addition to that, where it happened on his left hand is good because he still has uh dexterity of like the of the lower uh, okay. parts of his fingers so that when they do go to apply prosthetics they can just slot them in you know like the uh, these this digit on up so he can move his fingers yeah. and he's especially glad that he has his thumb which gives you most yeah. the most agency yeah. over you know being able to grab that's, things that's what separates you from a human and a dog you right. know so i mean he's just he's very grateful the entire video and but it's in the in a short little synopsis here he breaks down what happened in like the first minute like really this is a this is a lesson in brevity and word economy truly i mean this is something we can all take away if you're a comedian if you're a public speaker of any kind get your points in order and deliver them in a compelling way in a captivating way which i think he's done just out of the gate his fingers are black um and just go for it shoot your shot and that's what this guy did. This guy's super rich, by the way. He's like like a sultan guy type dude, and Ooh. he does extreme uh, mountain hiking. So you see, he can do that bad. because he doesn't need the work. He has mad money. I mean, obviously, like normal people, son. Nobody we know is going through shit like this because everyone oh, we know never. is fucking broke. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, only the rich. Bourgeoisie do shit like this. Only the people with money to go on a fucking vacation to climb a fucking mountain. Like when you take time off of work, you're not doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're trying to chill, have fun. These motherfuckers are like, oh, I need a new challenge in life. Like exactly, bitch, go I need to climb Mount job, Everest you know? to yes, derive some sort of meaning from my job. life. Exactly, like. Uh, I'm going to start a new campaign. I'm running for president. Lorenzo 2028. I'm okay. about to fucking punishing the rich. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my terms. I'm going to have my fucking shits next, next week. I have um, a couple more things here. We're really flying through these. I like that. I just I didn't realize how long uh, we'd be able to milk some of these things. We're already at an hour here. I don't want to go too much over. Yeah. Um, I feel but, like we do pretty well with that. No, we, I mean we've we've done ex exceptionally well so far. Uh, not to pat ourselves on the back here, but I will because uh, I love pat myself on the I back. I miss I miss doing this. Like we used to do this all the time. We'd just have a couple things ready to go, and then we'd hit them one at a time. Uh, it, it is it is effective. Uh, here's another uh, callback, a direct callback to something we covered a long time ago. Um, we made a clip of it that did pretty well for uh, for us, considering it had a few hundred views. But uh, our our friend, friend of the show, uh, Tanner, We're about to go is to the library right back here. in action. He's uh, and if you don't remember uh, uh, Tanner, he's uh, the kid who got shot in the mall for doing oh, pranks for on people real. in the food court. Holy shit. He is back on the streets making videos. And I love it. The channel, if you're if you're curious, it's classified goons. Mm, on goodness YouTube. gracious. I love it. Let's Everyone check out to uh, two months ago. Let's check this out. He's he's got the police involved in a Walmart here. It looks like. I wonder what police this could are always be. in Walmart. Walmart gives them so much money. They love some fucking Walmart. Well, yeah, they're you know conservative business with conservative values 
Blue Lives Matter. I think that's where they got the color scheme from. Mm. The blue line. Let's check him out. It's, it's already escalating. Yeah, it's Tell them we need them here now. He's not stopping recording me. He keeps following me around the whole store. I mean, maybe, maybe he's... Yeah, I don't know. Are you famous or something? You don't realize. I don't even know, dude. Should we go ask him, like, if he's okay? I think he's probably, uh, okay. This dude just looks like a neck, doesn't he? He looks like a, uh... Real tall. Yeah. Like if a giraffe, like a giraffe, but like oops, all neck. Oh shit! No, not you oops, know? all neck. Like if the oh little Shrek God. ears were just on the neck, he and the snout and everything was just a part giraffe. of like, like his face is the Adam's apple of the giraffe. You know. Fucking wow. But I don't know. Fucking. And that makes him more obnoxious somehow. With the hat too, yeah. with the little nub hat that he has backwards. Yeah, that's basketball hat. Like, I don't know. Look at his posture. Yeah, very. And he's standing up straight. I'll give him that. His neck is jutting out forward, though. I will say that. Yeah. That early onset scoliosis. What's going on there? Uh, oh no. It's got like Master Uguay. Yeah. It's some, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking turtle. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. That's because that's what I'm saying. I'm like, it looks like he's standing straight, but there is something going on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think that's a, a byproduct of his? <laughs> <laughs> gunshot wound you think we'd have to go back and, and analyze it on a on a deeper level there we have to see if his posture has been affected clearly nothing's been affected clearly he's still a piece of shit and a gunshot didn't affect i mean we saw that with donald trump a gunshot didn't affect shit like he just doubled down if anything but you can choose to do this or he could have he could have had an even bigger resurgence if he came back like and made a name off of like I'm the kid who got shot, but then started doing like good things, like Mr. Beast type videos, oh, like yeah. right, like let's he build a village in like, this underprivileged, uh, you know, uh, nah. area of Africa. Or let's you know, he he wouldn't have done that. That's not him. That's not who he is. Let's go to Haiti and you know I hand out know. clothes from Ross. Real talk, though, there was mad potential. Like, there's mad potential. And it's all I squandered. Guess. It's like, who's going to come and watch this kid do this? He's never going to get shot to... again. That's never going to happen. No, no. He reached a he... peak. No, but he reached a peak with those videos that, like, will never be topped again. Right? At least yeah. Donald Trump gets shot in the ear. He's going to... Being president of the United States, that's big league stuff. But like True. going back to your YouTube channel with like ten thousand subscribers, that's like holy fuck. Okay. Not even like what, what, what? I wonder how many. I wonder how many presidents have actually been shot and like stayed president. You know, like how many get shot and like not killed. And yeah. not killed. I uh, I don't think there's a running record really, other than yeah. Ronald Reagan. You think RFK Jr.'s like, oh, my dad, my uncle. Yeah. That's kind of fucked up. That That's kind of fucked up. Oh, shit. That's why he's coming for the FDA. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's not really a lot to this, to this section of our... He's just asking random fucking Walmart workers who's trying to do their job. I'd be like, I don't know, bro. I don't fuck, like... Fuck them up, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Don't ask me. I might work. I gotta, like, how, I gotta tell you. How obnoxious is is that? Truly, the whole prank is just like there's this guy following me with a camera. Like he thinks he's big brained. He thinks that like this is the play to like you get to record for the video and this is like the crux of the prank. How great is that? Like he really thinks he's onto something. I want to. I want to mm. know where where his mom is and all this because you'll remember like his mom and him outside of the courthouse or whatever, oh, yeah. right? And she was kind of like talking to the camera people, like he, he should have known better. I don't know what happened. He's I he 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 recovered. He feels sorry. He feels bad. Where is she now, yeah, mom? What are you doing now? Is, has he been kicked yeah. out of the house? I'd like to know that much. Is he is he in your orbit still? Are you guys on good terms? Are you bankrolling any of this? Because what now she, she should is. be held responsible if she's if she's in any part responsible for what he's doing here financially or otherwise she should be held the part she pays for all the equipment 
Yeah. She's like, you like that Is camera it? I bought you and your friend? Uh, you said you were going to use it for church only. You said you were only going to uh, use it for the Lord. Is that what you're, you're doing? Gonna, you need you to present you're me. Use it to you need record to, your praise dance. Yes. You need to present me with your TikTok praise trend. I'm not playing Tanner. You think I'm joking? I'm not. I will take the camera from you and I'll shoot you myself. We have guns <laughs> in the house. Oh my God. We in do. The the they Lord. were for self defense, but I'll defend my honor if I have to. On God. Defend... Oh God. That's oh God. Hey, yo. <laughs> On God, Tanner, I will shoot you in the house and you'll clean it up. Because for uh... some reason you survive getting shot i don't know why maybe you're they the antichrist make they should make a movie a movie starring him and he just like he gets shot like tons of times in the movie but he like yeah. just always bounces like a back. quentin tarantino yeah like blood everywhere like django gunfight yes. but, but he, he gets up and, and, yeah, he gets up and does a prank on everybody else. <laughs> and the, the he's prank. risen the prank uh, accidentally kills the bad guys. It's like a banana pill or so throwing banana pills under people's feet and they all oh, slip and God. fucking shoot each other when they fall or yeah. some shit. And they shoot him, but he just gets back up. They're just, back it's just, or it's like Kingsman. Everyone's people. heads just explode at the thought Holy of him shit. fucking surviving that at the, at the mm. injustice of him surviving. Listen, I don't, I do not wish anything bad for this kid i hope he's doing well clearly he is clearly he's learned his lesson and nothing uh, bad will ever happen to him again oh my fucking god as he goes on to harass uh, minimum wage workers at walmart so, he's not putting out consistently i'll say that i mean like once every couple months that's relatively Thanks. harmless you it's just again you would think he would have capitalized on this whole on getting shot whole business thing. yeah like that's what you do when you get shot you fucking take that shit and you run as fast as your little shot leg can take you you know there's just something there's something about this number right here they see the 78k and they go i'm in the pocket i don't there's nothing else i should be doing like i'm i'm onto something here like they had jadi on in one of their videos a year ago i don't know if this is before or after getting shot um but they uh, it's it's an infection it's a virus there's no cure yet like you would if i was an agent or something i would have latched onto this kid so fast Oh my Once God. he's like done with the lawsuit and done with all the all the baggage, I'm like okay, I've got a show lined up for you. I've got here's uh, it's a YouTube series. You're gonna go around. You're gonna stop pr pranksters, and we're gonna have on some of the biggest names in YouTube and streaming pranks. And you're gonna and you're gonna follow them, and and you're gonna you know proselytize to wait, them to to wait, quit now. Plans. Yeah, no, or not just not just the work, you. but like. Like it, 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 it would be a gripping documentary series where you follow uh, these people doing these degenerate acts and you break it down. You get into their heads, into the psychology of why they need attention this bad, that they'll harass people in broad daylight just for, for views. Right. And that, and, what is the reason? and then he becomes like the Chris Hansen figure, like the, the holier than thou figure when playing. he's, when really he's like spotlighting all this prank nonsense to begin with my god and then whatever happens, kids, yeah he sees kids running around the walmart and he's like uh he pops up and he's like what are you doing here at this walmart exactly and then he like t he checks their pocket and he's like you brought uh whoopee cushions <laughs> are these lav mics that you have wireless microphones <laughs> what do you need those for <laughs> he's like i just here to buy some cookies man he's like i'm yeah. sure you did i was here sure to you did. Give, give a cupcake to my favorite walmart worker that's an edp 445 reference rest in peace eat that pussy 445 what the fuck i i didn't know what that stood for actually 
Yeah, but you know who I'm talking about, the guy? I think you've told me about him before. Uh, let's just go down this real quick, and then I think this is all we have time for. The name makes me, the name like flabbergasts me, so it's like I kind of remember. Here's a meme edit of it. Oh, here we go. Here's the real thing. Do you know what's really fun? I need to get YouTube Premium so I don't have to go through this every single time, but that's not happening. Oh, I was actually coming out here. So he's a YouTuber. Uh, he's most of his big videos and vines and shit are just him screaming about the Eagles and and he he has a really funny face and voice. He's really animated, but he's also a pedophile. So like he went and what? tried to meet a little girl, and when they confronted him here. This crew confronts him. He just says, uh, this is what he says. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake and then go back home. Um, there was, you know, nothing that was going to be sexual involved because I'm not like that. You know, well, obviously the text messages and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> the text messages are like him, like clearly having a sexually charged conversation and also sending uh, pictures of his shit in the toilet and stuff like really what weird really weird stuff really weird yeah, amber heard stuff. pictures of his shit and i was like pictures of his dick because shit is just another no, word for like his like, doo caca mm -hmm. in the toilet what to, the to a little girl hey yo but he was there to pick up a cupcake <laughs> that's all of course i believe him <laughs> <laughs> let's see but you know this is what made him famous let's see like stuff how like unattractive this. is pdf file ed come on i guess all of this funny stuff is probably not on youtube anymore because he's been deplatformed but probably for the best we don't need to reminisce over his funny videos Glorified. True. Yeah, it's sad though. It's sad to see how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Never stood a chance. Those were some of Never the. That was those were some of the funniest memes we would send each other, my friends and I, like Cameron and I, like back and forth. Would just be like him and people like him. Like, look at his face. He's got a fun face. He does have a fun face. You know. And he had a fun voice to match and a fun chaotic energy. But like I look at this, I mean all this. I just have his name here in the in the search bar and all of this is like creep, uh pedo. Oh here we go. Funniest moments by God. God, That's not even the fuck hating. That's just keeping it the fuck real. Take no fucking money, fire Jim. Pussy 445. And about like 30 to 45 minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of my dick so goddamn hard that I can't even feel my left leg. My left leg has went totally numb. And my dick has also went totally numb to the point to where it feels fucking weird when I go and take a piss. What up, Twitter? So, um, yeah. I'm a. I mean, this this was him all along. Agatha all along here. Stop. Oh, my God. I'm going to be real. I uh, personally probably wouldn't yeah. be caught watching things like this. This motherfucker. In my personal opinion. You're smiling, though. I always smile. That is true. I'll give you that. I was that. trying my best not to shit on myself, man. I was like... And I was sweating and shit, you feel me? Everybody was like, yo, Brian, are you... <laughs> anyway, those aren't even the best yeah. ones. The one where his leg went numb, that was a big one. That was a big one. Um, and that's actually a story about him in, in a parking lot, I think, or something like that. Anyway, yeah. that's him in a nutshell. I mean, that's it, basically how he got famous. I know you're you're falling asleep, so we'll just go ahead and oh, falling oh, asleep, ridiculous. I mean, My it's on camera. Low. It's on camera, so your eyes are low. What did, what, what are they battery low. charged? Your eyes? Yeah, you didn't know. 
It's not like you're yeah. driving. You know, just give me a, send me a message, send me a text when you're falling asleep before your eyes get low, and then we'll, I'll get you off screen. I gotta charge them. The yeah. fans need to see the, the real us. The real us. Because I'm not falling asleep. I'm just my eyes need to reset every once in sure, a while. Sure, sure they do. Well, let's yep. reset here. Let's come back uh, full circle with some advice. Can we please yeah. tell the people what they need to hear, what they need to know? Uh, I was gonna. Oh I was. God. There was one more story that we'll have to say for next time about the guy who leaked uh, secret Pentagon classified information on Discord. He got sentenced to 15 years in prison today. Oh. Um, we'll have to save that for another day. Uh, what? What? Without further ado, uh, advice, please. Anything. So listen here, here's the advice I got, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody, people, people. Anyway, um, so peep this shit, right? First off, don't be fucking out here crawling in caves and shit, because that's stupid, son. Like, you're not a worm. These motherfuckers was down there like, you're not a fucking worm. You're not that's a how worm. I'm you're not city. Earthworm Jim. Big, big factuals. You're not the fucking Alaskan bullworm from SpongeBob. You know what I'm saying? Certainly like, not. You're bipedal, my guy. Don't be doing shit that's got you non-bipedal for too long. You know? You're and not like, invertebrate. Yeah. You're I'm at like, son. I imagine that's how Diddy goes around the house. I imagine his house is old up, and he's right. like, like a fucking dolphin, just slipping around yeah. that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Butt ass naked in there. Yep, all on the walls and ceiling, just sliding all over that bitch. Like, come on. And when you're rich, real, you don't like, need mats either. You don't need a tarp when you're rich. No, you just get new no. floors and walls. Yeah. You don't need shit. Fuck it. Who gives a damn? Yeah. You know, you got it. It don't matter. Like, come on, bro. Let's be real. Let's get shit together. That would be cool. I would get a house just to make it a giant slide, and then you just slip everywhere. Like a you Mario Ice wonder. level. One day, will. One day it'll happen. Well, a big ass fucking house. Yeah. I'm a. When we're rich and famous, I'm gonna be. I don't be think a any. I don't, but I don't think anyone's allowed to buy that much baby oil ever again, though. I think there's like a federal cap How now. How did he get it? You think he like? He's been stockpiling. Yeah, I mean, he has to have been. What if he like buy small amounts like one bulk purchase at a time? Of, yeah, yeah, in all different localities. Definitely, he's been, like been laundering the baby oil. Yeah, we don't know when he started buying baby oil. Mm -hmm. He's been around for a minute. We have no clue when he started. That's like the he amount of it that you long. that it's it's such a suspicious amount that you'd think it, we'd be using it to like cut drugs with or something or to yeah, make drugs is from uh, like missing i don't fucking know like, like there's some sort of currency involved with it yeah bonkers i don't know it's insane the shit's insane like who is this anything for kamala doing? You All right, nothing for Most Kamala. Most people didn't even know who she was. <laughs> Most people didn't know who she was. So, like, you know, four years ago, like, who is she even? You know, like, right. I don't know. Fucking go home, be a well, real Well, she doesn't person. have a family. We covered that. She's basically she doesn't have nobody. A family. It's a fake family. Sure I know a fake family when I see a fake family. You know, you can't tell me. Trust me, I know all about fake families. You know how many fake families I created? 72. Uh oh. Yep. How about yep. for our boy, the prankster guy? I mean, he's gonna he's gonna come and go, really. Like he's on his last legs. Jeez. Bro, next time someone shoots you, capitalize, Stay down. broski. Oh, or, yeah. or get up and do something real. Give in. Use your take your hand and try to take the bullet out yourself. Don't let a doctor help you. There we take go. it out yourself, or you're not a man. Get a face transplant. It's my advice to that kid. Get a new, just get a new look. Do something about your neck. I don't know. About your, about your know. whole, yeah. just everything up here in this area needs to go. Yeah, yeah. Bring in an like, expert. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen to him, cause like, it's good. <laughs> It's gonna help a lot. You don't even know. You don't even know yet. It's gonna help a lot. What about what, uh, what about thrill seekers in general? 
um, top to bottom there. Son, we saw the guy you want, lost his whole hand. Bro, if you want an adrenaline rush, just work in food service, a place that gets real busy, you know, you like go. on the weekends. Work in food service on the weekends. Right. Or like, or like Denny's yesterday, Veterans Day. I was going to go to Denny's. That bitch was packed. Because their little shit was 5 to noon, 5 a.m. to noon. Mm. I didn't even peep that. I thought it was all day. So I think it's like 9 is, 10 is, Denny's is packed. That you could have gotten to there. Olive Garden. I heard they had it all. You can eat soup and salad for free, all that stuff. And breadsticks. Let me find out. I know a lot of places have stuff. I like. Yeah, the unlimited I take full breadsticks thing, yeah. Next, next year, someone should come with me, and I'll just get y'all, like, mad free shit, you know? Y'all just tip me a little slightly cheaper amounts, but, like, I don't know, bro, like, mad potential. I used to go all out, but now I'd be chilling, but, like, just like that, it's okay, you know? All right, well, I'll let your eyes recharge, as it were. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching, listening. Once again, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button on here on YouTube, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you're watching or listening. Like the podcast or rate us five stars, or I should say and rate us five stars. Do all of the above, please. Uh, leave a comment for engagement, a positive, uplifting comment for any uh, one of the people we may or may not have talked about. Yeah. Are you trying to read something or are you struggling? My I'm, I'm, my eyes are um, my eyes are low, so I'm that trying is to like, crazy. I'm trying to calibrate them. You oh, know. Right. You gotta go. Calibrate it's my bedtime. eyes. No stop. <laughs> that's 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 insane. Like the whole time I'm watching you. Like, no, oh, I'm doing like it on purpose. Having a, uh, I'm, having a I'm struggle. Trying see, I'm trying to see how close my eyes could be while still seeing. Oh, um, you're practicing for the future. Because <laughs> <laughs> look, they're like naturally really close. I'm done looking. Good night, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you. Peace out. So you're here for a cookie? A cookie, eh?